Hello and welcome to the Everything Dentistry YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the aperture section of the perceptual ability test on the DAT. This video is to help aspiring dentists uh, achieve the highest score as possible. Uh, and in order to really thrive and succeed in this section, uh, there's only really one main tip and strategy that really helps in answering these questions quickly and efficiently. And this tip is to be able to visualize the 3D objects in all three perspectives. And these three perspectives are the front view, as if looking at the object from the front. You have the side view, and you also have the top-down view, which you can imagine floating above the object and looking straight down. Okay, now let's just jump right into the question. This question is actually taken from the American Dental Association's Practice DAT that you can go on and take for free, so I would highly recommend taking that. Okay, now let's get into drawing the three perspectives of this 3D object. So let's start with the top-down view. So we can almost subdivide this structure into three substructures. We have kind of the house, I like to call it. Um, then you have two little bump outs. So if we were looking straight down upon uh, this house, we could call it. I'm going to label this T for top down. Um, we see the roof. And roofs or points or even valleys uh, or more, most concerned about the outline of the object. So the outline of the roof is actually going to appear as a rectangle. As a rectangle right there. Okay, so now that we have accounted for the biggest structure, let's concentrate on these two substructures. So here, this front substructure, we have um, another pitch or roof, if you will. Um, and we also have to make sure we draw this correctly in proportion to the whole object. So we can see that this takes up about half the object. So we're going to draw on another rectangle that takes up half of this rectangle. Okay, so we've taken account for that one. Now let's go for the uh, chimney or the last substructure here. We can see that it is uh, a square or maybe a rectangle. We can see that it goes the whole length of the structure. Uh, so looking at it from top down, uh, it's going to be almost a rectangle and uh, halfway in between. So it's going to appear right there, halfway between the structure. Okay, so now this is the basic outline of our top-down view. So let's go through some of the different answers and see if we can either confirm our answer or eliminate our answers. So looking at option A, we can see that this is a top-down view. We can see that this side structure is uh, in the correct position in midway through the structure. However, this bottom structure here is not drawn to proportion and it is even on the wrong side. So it cannot be answer A. Let's go to answer B. Uh, looking at this, we can look at the bottom structure here and see that it is drawn, in, drawn correctly, drawn to the correct proportion. Um, however, this side structure is too far forward, if we can see that there. So therefore, it cannot be B. Uh, moving on to now to answer E, which is another top-down view, we can see again that the bottom structure here is correct. However, the side structure is too thick. It is not proportionally correct to the actual object, so we know that it is not E. So right off the bat, with being able to visualize one perspective, we are able to eliminate over half the answers. So now our next view, let's go for the head-on view or the front view. Okay. So looking at it front on, uh, especially for all the perspectives, one of the most important things uh, to note is that these are all orthogonal. Depth is not taken to, into account, and we are most concerned about the outline of the structure. Not Especially in this, uh, this example, we are not going to be concerned about this substructure here because it falls inside the outline of a bigger object. So what I mean by that, if we're going to be looking head on, uh, to this structure, this is what we would see. We're going to see the house, front of the house. Um, but then we also notice that we have the chimney sticking out the side, or another this substructure sticking out the side. Um, and we notice that it goes the whole length of the house. So we're going to draw it in like so. Now, as I said, we are most concerned about the outline of this image, so we're going to redraw it um, with just the outline. OK, 
Okay, so as we can see here, um, looking at this object that I j have drawn here, this really resembles answer C, which is our correct answer. So hopefully being able to visualize these perspectives uh, will be able to help you uh, answer these questions more quickly and more efficiently. Um, we will definitely do more of these uh, in future videos. Uh, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.